Here's a kit build wireless broadcaster and amplifier from Night Kit in 1959. It comes with a crystal microphone. It's in a nice blue case. This is the second or third version. The experimenter versions were not enclosed. It had the top, but access to all the dangerous electronics was open. Those were the experimenter versions. And I think those came out as early as 1954. I have a couple of links to some good websites about this kit that I'll put in the description. So we have our on-off and volume. We have an RCA spot for magnetic phono pickup or mic and a crystal phono or mic. We have our preamp tube 12AX7. This tube tests good. We have our oscillator tube, a 50C5. It tests bad. And over here we have our modulator tube, 50C5. And as you can obviously tell, this one is uh, seen its much better days. It's just all falling apart. So, if I wanted to try and get this running, I need to pick up two 50C5 tubes. Here's our trimmer capacitor for our tuning. Get your radio station on a dial that's open, on a station that's open, and turn that with a screwdriver until you hear your broadcast coming from your mic or your phono. We have spots up here to attach speaker and an antenna wire. And for this to be FCC compliant, it had to be less than 10 feet of wire. And here's our output transformer. Whoever built this didn't follow the instructions because if you used 10 feet of wire or less, there was a label in the instructions that you're supposed to put down here saying that it met the FCC requirements. So they overlooked that. You have four rubber feet there on the bottom. I'm going to put up a photo of the schematics and also a photo of the theory of operation and maybe some other things that you can look at. Here's a little excerpt from the instruction manual giving its theory of operation. I'm going to take a minute to open this up. We'll take a look inside. With all the tubes taken out, there's a less cluttered view of the top. See some markings there on the output transformer. I'm turning it over underneath. Okay, before we get to looking closely at the uh, underneath, I thought I'd insert a schematic diagram that you can look at and pause your screen and read and uh, may help you follow along as we see what's under here. So pause your screen if you want. So underneath we have a large two-stage capacitor two 20 microfarads at 150 volts. You have what appears to be a stack of selenium rectifier maybe. Lots of resistors. The oscillator coil. Lots of other smaller capacitors. And our tube sockets. There's something written here on the on off pot. I can't read it right now. Maybe in close up of a playback, I'll be able to see what that says. But it's very clean. 
it appears to have been a good assembly. Someone took some time with it. I don't see a lot of terrible practices here. All right, I think the entire kit was $12 or something. The microphone was sold extra for a little under $2. It's not in good shape. Uh, it just sort of pulls apart. It's got some rot to it. I don't know if that would even work. And then there's the rest of it in there. That was a very inexpensive microphone to begin with. Can I get it back in? Not from that angle, I can't. Oops. We're losing parts of it here. There we go. We're all back together. And our cord is kind of frayed there. So just another thing that I would have to work on if I ever wanted to try and get this put back to working order. But it's an interesting item anyway, whether I do something with it or not. So this has been the 1959 Night Kit Wireless Broadcaster and Phono Amp. A kit build from Allied Radio in Chicago. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.